Alright, so people have been asking how the fuck how do you sink and hit swim, Robbie? So um today I'm here to uh show you just that. Let's get into the video. I I don't know. Alright, so first thing you wanna do is go to open your head film of course and uh new get your settings and stuff. And start compositing. Don't don't start editing because that you're not gonna be able to do this. What you wanna do is um get your um I don't know get your intro first of all. I don't really feel like animating, so I'm just gonna like, get a picture. So uh, be right back when I have that. All right. So once you have your picture, you need a song to sing to. So uh, let's let's get that. Yeah, the mystic is like good enough, I guess. What is my internet? So you got your song. Now you gotta get it and import thing to hit film. So yeah, you also kind of wanna do this. So it's all right. Let's get let's get into the actual effects and stuff. So. First thing that you want to do is get your letterbox because that's what cool people use. And um set it to custom because else you can't really keyframe it properly. Uh keyframe the ratio in the beginning to like something really big like 10 because that's the maximum because head filming is not capable of taking this to, to the middle and like covering the whole screen. So you gotta do this, then you go a few frames further, like here, I guess. And um, you get you you set it to like two point thirty five because that's the default, and you set the keyframes to smooth. You you can use curves and stuff, but I want to keep this simple, so um, no, don't don't use curves, or or use curves unless you you know what you're doing. So you got your things, now you can like keyframe them again because you're cool and um right where the drop is you can just like have them go in a bit maybe like this and set them to smooth because smooth is nice Right, so once you got your letterbox, you you can get your like um shake, the first one because we're gonna use. Two. Right, so once you have your letterbox, you can get your um shake because you you kind of need to sync with shake. So you can get this set it to like I don't know twenty five, the speed to like point five, and the smooth to a hundred. This is not gonna be the actual sinking shake, it's just gonna be like your ambient shake like this. You can also mess with the individual controls if you don't like it, but I kinda like it like this. Oh, also turn the motion blur off, because that looks trash. Right, now, you can get your, um, your sink shake, which you sink with. What a surprise. So you get this, you set it to like 1.35 because that's what I use and I'm cool. Set the smooth to 100 and um, the seeds to whatever looks good for to you. Then you get the drop, which is not there. Then you get the drop and keyframe the amount. Set this keyframe to instant. Then go to the next frame and set it to like... 300 maybe? We'll see. Yeah, that's good enough. If you don't like how it looks, you can mess with the seeds. Like... Yeah, that looks good enough for me, at least. So you get your frames, you, you copy them. And then you go to the next, like, beat, and paste them, like... So 
Or actually, no, 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 don't do that. So go to your scale, keyframe, instant, next frame, 1.2. Like, the, the scale depends on your, like, uh, text. Uh, if the text is bigger, then of course this is gonna be, like, less. For example, 1.1. If the text is gonna be smaller, you can go up to like 1.4, but I do not recommend going more than 1.4. I don't have- I don't have shit here, I just have an image because I was too lazy to actually make text, so I'm just gonna have it on 1.2, because that's what I usually use. So, now you have these keyframes, you're just gonna copy them, and go to the next beat and paste them. What? And you keep doing that because intros. Right, so one thing that I'm noticing is the letterbox is like way too big. So what you can do is keep these keyframes. They are. And then you can keyframe it again like oh fuck, what 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 am I doing? And then you can keyframe it again like right when the next beat is. And make it like smaller, for example, 2.2 .2, and set them to <laughs> Now you have this, which looks pretty good So let me just finish the thing real quick Alright, so once you have all the things in place, it should look like this. Oh, by the way, you gotta have all the effects, like, above the letterbox, because if you have the shakes, for example, under the letterbox, they're gonna move the, the, the black bars, and you don't wanna... you don't want that, because that would serve all Yeah, so don't, don't do that. So once you're done with your shakes, it's gonna look like this. And Which is like decent enough, but it's not it's not good enough for me, so we gotta we gotta add more effect. First thing that I do is action calm uh, action cam lens distort. So you get that, you put it over the shakes. I sometimes do it like over the letterbox too, but it depends how I'm feeling. I'm not gonna do that now because I'm I'm lazy or I don't know. So you get this, you set it to reverse, and you set the wrap oh fuck, that's the wrong thing. You set the scale anchor to height, and now you have this really nice fisheye effect oh you can you cannot see it. Now you have this really Ooh. nice fisheye effect that you can use. So right where the drop is, like, try to stay so like right here, you get a frame and you set it to like something really big, like this maybe, 150 is okay. And you go a few frames before, like where the build up kind of ends, like here, try to and you set it to zero. And what you have now is this. Stay so and then you go like a few frames after this, this is the first one you put, and you set it to zero. So now what you have is this. Oh, also set the middle key keyframe to smooth. Another thing that I like to do is get a neon glow, like right here in lights and flares. Put it like. On, on the bottom of everything, apart from the letterbox, because the letterbox is godly. Uh, like, the thing is, make sure you don't have any effects under the neon glow, because... For some reason, because of these, like, smooth-ish edges, head film fucks everything up, and, uh... Effects don't work how they're supposed to. So just keep that in mind. What I like to do, another personal preference, is... See, like, for, for example, on my picture, the main color is blue. So what I do is go to here and make it a bit bluish, don't go over the top, just make it a bit bluish, and click OK. And now you can set the intensity to zero, and keyframe. 
and you're gonna have the keyframe like you, you can have uh, the shake keyframes just to like work off of those. So have these be on the same frame. Put it to instant. Go to the next frame, and get it like point eight. And you, you can you don't really have to do it like you did the shake. Just copy and paste these frames because that that doesn't look that good because it's gonna be white almost all the time. So you're gonna go a few frames. Not not like until the next row of frames. Just just a few. And set it to zero. So now you have this. And you can now you can copy all these frames. And paste. And delete because that's like after these frames. And delete and paste. And paste. And paste. 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 So now you have this. And nothing ever will Try to stay sober Try to stay clean Let me when it's over Like a bad team Well, it looks pretty good For me But not good enough yet To me, it looks kind of like Really plain So, what you want to do is go to effects To the distort section and just get some of these things and the ones that I use the most are the waves and the twirl what I do with what I like to do with the waves is get them put them like on top of the neon glow so that is on like the third downwards layer I don't know English and you get them right before the drop which is so here what you want to do is set the amplitude to like something around 15 maybe that might be too much though and the frequency to like 20 ish and I don't know about the angle I like to keep it like maybe I actually like to keep it default maybe mess with the, the displacement angle a bit So what you want to do now is keyframe the frequency, set this to zero, the frame before the drop, set that frame to instant, then the next one is gonna have all these things, and go a few frames after this one, and set it to zero. So now it looks like this. Another effect that I really like to use is the spherical warp, which you gotta put above the neon glow. Then you can set it to zero, the, the amount, I mean, you set, it, you set that to zero. And then what you can do now is set these two to tile, and get a center, and now you can do this. As much as you want. And you can also do it horizontally, like this. Now, for example, if there is a bigger break between the um, bigger beats, now you can do this. So, try to stay sober, try to stay clean. For example, here you can get the position. It's like right here, he says, "Wake me." So now, what you can do is get this. Go like three images down, which is gonna be like six thousand eight hundred and fifty, I think. And set the first keyframe to smooth. Maybe move that out a bit more. So now you have this. Next effect that I usually use is the twirl effect. So you get this, you place it uh, here, I don't know, and then you set the angle to zero. The radius, you can have that at maximum because that's what I do, and I'm cool. 
So what you can do now is keyframe the angle, get it to like here where it says like a bad dream. Like a bad dream. And now do this. And of course, set them all to smooth. So now you can have the end of the whole thing like right here. And go to export, set your um, thing. Name it whatever you want and start exporting. And nothing ever will try to stay so much. So, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then um, make sure to leave a like down below and um, comment what other tutorials would like to see or if you would like to see any other tutorials actually because I don't really do any of those. So that was it for me today and uh, see you in the next video. Bye boys! Thank <laughs> you.